Hello and welcome back to my channel where I am currently filming a series where I am making every outfit from the 1997 animated movie Anastasia. As you can see today, I will be walking you through the process of how I made her iconic pink pajamas that she wears at the end of the movie. They're having a slumber party. I was on a bit of a self-inflicted time crunch, so I made these in like a day and a half and I think they turned out really cute for such a quick project. I was trying to insert like fun full body clips, but I feel like I can't, I have to be so far away to be able to see my own body. <laughs> but his pajamas! I love them. Let's just get the first thing out of the way. I know, the color's a little bit off. That's okay. That's, that's okay. When I was shopping for this fabric, I was out and I didn't have Wi-Fi, so I couldn't like look up the scene. And so I was texting my friend and I was like, can you send me clips <laughs> from the movie? <laughs> or like, can you send me pictures from the movie? Because I can't look it up right now. And on a quick Google search, there's quite a few different colors of these pajamas that shows up. So I kind of just picked one that I was like, oh yeah, that looks like the color that I remember. And so mine's like a little bit more bubblegum pink than hers maybe is, but you know what? There's not an Anastasia store that I can get all of the perfect fabric from. So I'm doing my best on all these outfits. Don't be mean about my fabric choices. Get the perfect fabric if you find it. But honestly, it's really easy to like color correct in photos and videos. So watch this. Perfect. Honestly, with Anastasia, there's so many like animation errors throughout it that I think just choose a pink that resonates with you at the end of the day. That's what I did. <laughs> so let's break this outfit down. So on the top, we have a scoop neck top that's got sort of like all of these sheer elements. There's sheer elements on the sleeves. And then the whole midsection has like geometric elements that are layered on top of it. The pants are super simple. They're just like a wide leg pant with an elastic waistband. And the last thing of course is a bow in her hair because is it really an Anastasia outfit if she doesn't have a bow in her hair? I have made so many bows during this process. <laughs> the pajama pattern that I used as the base for this I found on Etsy, so I will have that in the description below. Full transparency, I had to make the pants twice. First time, I didn't account for my height. I'm pretty tall, so I just went with what the pattern was, and there was a bit of a, um, bit of a situation. <laughs> I did end up extending the pattern a little bit, like a couple inches on the waist, just like straight up, and then a couple inches on the legs, because I have very long legs. So you might not have to do that, but I did have to do that. <laughs> so starting with the pants. I cut out all of my pattern pieces and there should be two sides for each leg. Start sewing the outer seam on each leg. Press your seams. Sew the right sides together and then sew the inner seam of each leg. You have two little loose pant legs. You turn one leg inside out and then you stuff it inside the right side out leg. <laughs> Line up your crotch seam. What else would you call it? A crotch seam? Line up your crotch seam and pin and sew that together. Once you turn those right side out, you have pants almost. <laughs> I sewed an elastic strip into the waistband and then just did a double roll hem on both pant legs. And just like that, the pants are done. So cute, so comfy, so quick, easy. On to the next. The top is where things get a little bit more complicated, but nothing we can't handle, right folks? So starting with the top half of the shirt, I cut out about halfway down the pattern. And then that double line that you see is where I wanted the solid fabric to start. And then uh, there's a half inch seam allowance where it'll connect with the sheer part. I do the same thing for the chiffon half of the shirt using the same pattern, but then using the bottom half of it and then crossing over the same allowance point. I did the exact same process on the sleeve pattern with the top half being solid and then the bottom half being the chiffon. The seams that meet the two fabrics, I just sewed them right side to right side and then top stitched that seam allowance out of the way. It ends up getting covered by bias tape anyway, so top stitch it, you will never see it. Here's how that top was looking before any of the trim was added. I made a ton of this half inch bias tape with the lighter colored pink cotton. I then just started pinning all of those strips into place, starting with the sleeves and then top stitching all of that on. Did the exact same thing for the bias tape around the neckline and then the bottom of the shirt. It might end up looking cleaner if you hand sewed it, but like you really can't see the top stitching on the bias tape. So that's what I did and I was on a time crunch. So if you want it to look super clean, you can hand sew all of this on, but couldn't be me. <laughs> now we're moving on to our lovely little geometric pattern. I cut out two inch strips and folded in the sides to make bias tape with that as well. I tried so many methods to try to figure out this V shape. My best results were this bias tape method and then I just started pinning those into place and making sure that they were evenly spaced around the torso. Once pinned into place, top stitched them along all sides of the strips. For the diamond shapes, I made a quick paper pattern to get the right size and shape and then traced that onto fabric, cutting out a little bit of excess around all of the edges. I then went around each diamond, folding the excess over the back holding it in place with wonder clips. Folding right to that trace line ensures that they all stayed the same shape. 
Once clipped, I did a long basting stitch all the way around on my sewing machine to hold the excess fabric into place in the back of the shape. I pinned all the diamonds into place and then top stitched those down. At that point, you can remove your basting stitches and then the shirt is done. All that's left is our pretty little bow. Is this what Helga Pataki looks like? From Hey Arnold. I made a quick paper mock-up for the general size that I wanted it to be, and in my case, it ended up being like a five inch by nine inch rectangle. When transferring to the fabric, double those dimensions and add seam allowance, so I ended up cutting out a 19 inch by 11 inch rectangle. Fold that piece hot dog style right sides together and then sew that seam. Press it flat in the center of the tube and then turn it right side out. Sew the ends of your tube closed and then you're going to meet those closed ends together in the back. Just use a zigzag stitch to attach those ends so you have one continuous loop. In a similar way, I sewed a small rectangle that acts as the center of the bow. Hand sew that on at the very end and then insert a clip into the back to attach to your hair. And with that, the Anastasia pajamas are done. If you're curious, I did also make the crown. I made a tutorial for this crown on TikTok, but it's like too long for a short, but it's also like really short for its own YouTube video, but I could probably repurpose the clips and make it its own YouTube video if you guys would like to see that, but otherwise I will have the tutorial link description of this video, so you can check out the tutorial there. In regards to this series where I'm making all of the dresses, I did just recently make the nightmare gown, like the little sailor dress that she wears in her nightmare. So I will have a tutorial coming for that soon. Other than that, all I have left is the teal shopping in Paris dress. And then the last and final dress for this whole project is like the, you know, the final gown. I don't know if you want to call it the, I don't know what people call it. I call it the coronation dress, but you know, whatever. The big beautiful ball gown at the very end. I'm very intimidated for that one, but I'm excited for that to be like the grand finale of this entire this entire journey. I hope that you're all enjoying this series as much as I am making it. It's been a lot of work, but it's so rewarding and so fun. And like, I've just been really connecting, I think with a lot of women my age that have all fawned over this movie for our whole lives. So it's just like nostalgic and so fun. And I just like, I hope everyone's enjoying it. I really hope that this tutorial can help you make your dream princess pajamas. I would absolutely love to see other people make them. And if you do and you use my tutorial, please tag me on Instagram or TikTok and I will see you on the next one.